I use the stone. Why you gotta keep shooting at me, man? It is so locked on to me. Fight the world's greatest swords, man. Damn it. That attack is awesome. The fuck out the sky. Why are you coming after me so hard, bro? Gotcha. Woo. I thought I told you to butt out. Well, I'm just I was worried about you. There's just no way you could have beaten them on your own. Correction, there's no way you could have beaten them on your own. You weren't wrong about him not being our friend. No. Nor was I wrong about his exemplary skill with a sword. He may be too reckless to prosper on his own. However, with my strategic insight, his martial prowess could be... Are you done talking like you know me? Whatever you think you know, you don't. <laughs> no, no, boys. It's clear you're both crying. 
my specimens. I'd love to invite you back to the lab and take your measurements, but there's no time. Now, Mr. Super Swordsman, we've heard all about how good you are at waving that thing around, but who exactly are you? Let's just say I'm someone who's looking for something. Someone who somehow ended up here in your world trying to find it. Hmm. Another visitor from a realm beyond our own? Well now, isn't that a queer coincidence? Friend, we humble few journey on a righteous quest to free towns such as this from monstrous occupation. Noble warrior, will you lend your seasoned sword arm to our cause? An ally of your standing would surely bring much in the way of confidence. It's a little out of the blue, but what the hell? This whole Children of Light thing's got me wondering, so sure, I'll tag along for now. Name's Terry, by the way. <laughs> Don't make me regret this. He ain't played the game he was on. I only play, I only really play 8 and 9. I kind of seen people play other games, the others. So, you guys are our mysterious friends in black or what? Afraid not. He certainly seems to, like he knew who we were though. Indeed, he called us children of light. What do you mean? Either way, it seems he's interested in you for some reason, which means he'll be coming for you. And when he does, I'm gonna set up the score once and for all. I'll be sticking around now. There he joins the party. Hi. Your Majesty, terrible news. What is it, man? Speak up. Yes. I heard a report from our scouts, Your Majesty. A horde of monsters advanced in Syria. Even now, though, Syria has now escaped the ravages. Kerchus! What are about the villagers? Are they safe? According to our reports, the villagers have gathered in their other residence in the Mount Isle of Hence. But they should be besieged, Your Majesty, and their numbers pale in comparison to those monster swarm. The elves in Syria are masters of magicians, and forest there. They easily give them some good cover. The village won't fall too easily, but still. Your Majesty. We got to hurry, Your Majesty. We can't leave them to fend for themselves. Ah. My thoughts precisely will depart the Syria once. Friends, prepare yourselves. A skilled swordsman with super fast spring and a remarkable reach has, who also specializes in electrified attacks. His lightning strike still fazzles foes with the shock of strength and fries mechanical meaning circuits to bring them to sand steel. Learn more about Terry being the open domain and take action on block. <laughs> okay. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a stop for today. I'm sorry this one was a little short, but you know, I'll um, I'll be, I'll try to be up like, I don't, I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow or the day after, but I'll try to get back up here as soon as I can. Um, continue on the stream. I'm a little conscious of doing it during the daytime because while the last that internet in the daytime, you know, it's just noisy here in the daytime. So I don't want to, you know, try to force people to, that live here to be quiet because I'm on a stream, you know? So, I always choose this particular time around about 2, 3, 4 in the morning. Everybody sleep, you know? If they sleep, they try to be quiet when they're moving and stuff. You know, by themselves, they, you know, actively trying to actually be quiet, so. I don't have to tell nobody to be quiet. I don't like doing stuff like that. Um, yeah, man, thanks for watching, guys. I'll be joining again soon. Y'all say you already? I'll be back soon. Um, either tomorrow or the day after. We're going to get some more done. Also, I started a Patreon. I started a Patreon. So, yeah, check that out. I have not fixed it up or anything. I just made it off the, you know, just made it at the blue light. I saw somebody say support support me on Patreon. I was like, yo, 
why don't I make one? And then I made one like a second and a half. So it's 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 still it's not really made really well. But yeah, I do have my story. I'm pinning my story up on it. So you can read it if you want to. It's a little it's pretty interesting. It's a little different from anything else on red. On red scene. I don't really see a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, give me some critiques, criticisms, or whatever. Cause all of my friends say it's good, but here's the thing, they're my friends, so they gonna say they gonna say what I wanna hear. You know what I mean? They're nice like that. So You know, I just wanna hear some criticism, some form of criticism. I know it. I, I ain't writing the perfect story. That's all I'm saying. I know that. I ain't. Come on. Really? No. All right. So, man, check it out. It's called the Now. It's about a little girl. She's like, I think she's 10. She's, um, well, I just read it. Well, I post it up. I try to keep it up on it. And I got, I, I you know, I keep it up to date. Try to keep writing on it at least once a week. I try to get something. I try to get something to you about a year a week, unless I um, run into like a serious complication. But um, yeah, that's enough about that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.